Hello, everyone. Why is it? <clears throat> Let's say you have known a person back in the past. Let's say that person was a drug dealer, hustler, manipulator, cheater, and all those things like that. And let's say that person has changed. And let's say too, that person is living for Jesus Christ now. And he, or, and he is teaching about God. Why would you continue bringing up that person should not be teaching because I know what they was doing back in the past. What sense does that make? If that person isn't doing those things now, why can't they teach? Why can't they preach? Let's say there is a person preaching and teaching and let's say you know some of their faults. Now, who is perfect? I can see if that person is doing so much wrong every day, each day. I can see if that person is constantly in fornication and adultery. I can see if that person's sins are very much in open. But if that person, you know, did this wrong one day, did this other thing wrong a week later, that is not good. But how can you say they should not teach if they have repented of it and moved on? Why do you believe a person have to be 100% perfect before they teach? Is that even realistic? Go back to Peter. Was Peter 100% perfect? No. Was the Apostle Paul 100% perfect? No. They were not. So if you believe in your mind that no one should teach unless they are doing everything right then in that case no one should be, then no one should be teaching them because no one is 100% perfect as long as you are striving for perfection and you are doing better than beginners in Christ, I would say you have the right to teach or tell some things about God, right? Who is perfect? Now, I may not do as much wrong as the next, but I do wrong. Do I do wrong constantly? Probably not, but whether my wrong is very small or whatever else like that, I still do wrong. So I should not teach because, you know, I raised my voice one day or, you know, I threw my shoes out the window, for an example. So because I did that, I should not teach. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be, you know. If we go by your standards, by no one can do wrong, and that is the only time when you can teach is when you are perfect, no one would teach. <laughs> like I said before, I can see if there is a person who 
clearly doesn't want to live right clearly wants to live their own way of life constantly doing stuff just because they believe they can okay that that person should probably not teach them but a person who is striving for perfection come on now yes we should be corrected when we are wrong yes we need to repent when we do wrong but don't have that flawed way of thinking that you can't teach because you did this last year or you did that three years ago so you have no right to teach insane let me stop here may god bless you